Hello guys, what is up? BeckBroJack here back for another Minecraft video and today I'm going to be showing you how to install Minecraft shaders. Of you guys have been asking me to make a uh, how to install shaders tutorial because I recently got a new laptop and I started using shaders mod again in my mod showcases and a lot of you new subscribers did not know what it is or how to install it and uh, things like that so I decided that I would show you today now keep in mind that you do need a pretty resourceful uh, computer to be able to run shaders because it is really intensive on your graphics card so uh, with that said, let's get into the actual tutorial. So first things first, we're going to need to install Forge. But before we do that, we need to run Minecraft 1.8, just vanilla, one time. So to do that, you're going to go into your Minecraft launcher, hit edit profile, go to use version, and then just scroll down to 1.8 and then hit save profile. Now uh, you're just going to hit play. So we'll just wait for this to launch up real quick. All right, so now that it is launched up, all you have to do is go into a game mode so I will just go into uh, test FPS for right now. And then after you do that, all you have to do is just save and quit the title because you only had to run it manually once. Now you can exit out. And then now we can start downloading all the programs that we're going to need. So first things first, we need to download Minecraft Forge. So once you're on this website, um, Keep in mind that all of these websites will be down in the description below. I'm sure you probably already guessed that. But yeah, uh, when you get on this site, uh, it'll probably be on all. But all you have to do is hit Minecraft version 1.8. And after doing that, you're going to go to 1.8 recommended and then hit installer. And then this will uh, bring you to an AdFly page. For some reason, AdFly pages just don't like to work with me. So uh, sometimes it takes me a few different tries. So here I got it to work. Uh, now we just have to wait five seconds. And then after that, just hit skip add. And now in the bottom left of your uh, screen, it will show you, um, do you wanna keep this type of file? If you're using Google Chrome, it'll ask you. Uh, just hit keep, trust me, it will not give you any sort of viruses. So once you have that, you're going to click it down here or open it up in your downloads and make sure that you run this file. And it'll bring up a little tiny little screen that will show the mod system installer and you need to make sure that install client is checked and then hit OK. And then it should say successfully installed the uh, Forge profile. So now you're going to hit OK and we do not need Forge open anymore. So uh, now we can move on to the shaders mod, which is probably what you guys all want to see. So um, once you get to this page, there's going to be a lot of stuff on here. It's a little bit crowded, but what you're focusing on here is for Minecraft 1.8 because that's the only version that it's available for right now. So you're going to go to this little download page and then hit that button right there. And this will open up the shaders mod installer. So we're going to have to scroll down here, uh, hit 1.8 shaders mod. Uh, it opens up an ad to support the uh, mod creator. And then once you hit on it again, after you close out the ad, it will give you the same type of thing. Do you want to keep this file? Make sure you hit keep. And then we are going to keep that down there because we're also going to be installing Optifine, which really helps a lot with uh, Shaders mod. So uh, this is an optional step. If you don't want to install Optifine, you don't really have to, but it will definitely improve your FPS. So once you do get to Optifine, um, we're going to go down here to Minecraft 1.8.0 because that's the version of Shaders that we are going to install. And then we're going to go to uh, the HDUD1, the latest version for 1.8, and then hit download. And this will take us to another one of those stupid AdFly pages. Uh, and then we just need to wait five seconds again. So after that is done, hit skip add. And then you're going to hit download Optifine 1.8. It should open up another just add and uh, we'll just try that again right here. Sometimes you just have to finagle with it a little bit. But uh, now in the bottom left corner, once you do get it, you're going to hit keep. And then these are your two mods that you're going to be installing right now. So we can drag this over to the left. And uh, now we're going to need to open up our Minecraft folder. So uh, all you have to do to open up your Minecraft folder, if you're on Windows 7, you can go down to the bottom left and then type in uh, percent app data percent, and that should open up your Minecraft roaming folder. Or if you're on Windows 8 like I am, uh, and you don't have that nifty little thing like I just did, you can go over here and then hit search, and then you can do percent app data just the same. Just like that, and it will open up the exact same folder. So now that we have this, we're going to open up the .minecraft folder, and then you're going to need to create a brand new folder. So down here where it's all white, just uh, right click, hit new, go to folder, and then you're going to label this mods, no caps or anything like that, just regular mods, just like I have it right there. And you're going to open that 
and then this is where you drag your mods into there. So you're going to drag Optifine and Shaders mod into this specific folder. So now uh, we need to go back out of here and we need to create a brand new folder for something that we're going to be downloading very shortly, which are shader packs. So we're going to hit new folder and then you're going to name this shader packs. No caps, no spaces, nothing like that. Just like I have it right there. And you can click off of it and we can open that because um, we are going to be saving it for later. So where did I put it? Uh, shader packs. There we go. So now we can minimize this because we do need to download a few new things. So we don't need these anymore. Uh, now we can go over here to our first shader pack, Sonic Ethers Unbelievable Shaders. Now these are the different packs you're going to be using. So this one is really intensive on your PC, but it does look the nicest in my opinion. So you're going to download this. Uh, I'm not going to be showing the downloads for any of these uh, because it's a simple download process and I already have most of them downloaded. So this one uh, is really nice looking, but it does take up a lot of GPU usage. Uh, we go over here. This is lagless shaders. Uh, this one is not as intensive on your computer, and uh, you probably will not lag with this. Uh, you don't get lagless uh, frame rates. Yeah, you will lose some of your frame rates, but it is definitely not as much as it is for Sonic Ethers Unbelievable Shaders. And then over here we have my favorite one, which is Blue Shaders, which is kind of a mix of the two where um, it's pretty intensive, but uh, it's not as intensive as Sonic Ethers, and uh, it is one that is considered a lagless shaders, but it's not as lagless as a uh, pale loose lagless shaders. So yeah. Uh, so once you have all of these installed, uh, pick whichever one that you think you like the best or download all of them. I don't really care. But once you have all of them installed, um, now you're going to drag them into your shader packs folder. So I will just drag this over to the left because I think I have them in here. So yes, I have my shader packs. Uh, here I have the blue shaders mod and I'm going to be showing you uh, Seuss the shaders mod uh, if you want to download Paolo's you can do that I just don't have this downloaded right now. Um, this is just another one that I had on here. It, it's all right But yeah, once you have these downloaded um, All you have to do is just drag them in the shader packs file the dot zip files and uh, it's really that simple so uh, once you do all that, you're pretty much good to go You can minimize this or exit out whatever you want to do and then you can hit on Minecraft and then uh, just make sure you pay attention because we actually have to edit the profile one more time. We have to go back to use version, scroll all the way down, and there should be a brand new one called release 1.8 forge. Now we're going to click on that, hit save profile, and then hit play. And we'll wait for our game to load up. So now that our game is loaded up, you will see in the bottom left, it should say three mods loaded, uh, if that's all that you downloaded. And uh, now you can actually go into your single player world. So let's just go back into test FPS world. And then as you can see, shaders is actually enabled. Uh, if it is not enabled, once you get in, you can go um, into your options and you should have this new bar right here called shaders. And then it will show you uh, in here all the different shader packs that you have installed. So right now I'm using blue shaders, which is my personal favorite, but uh, you can also use Seuss if you downloaded this one. Now uh, this particular one looks really nice and I use it for some of my thumbnails actually because the sky looks really amazing. It has like these nice realistic clouds, but it does use up a lot more FPS. Uh, Personally, my computer only gets around uh, 70 to 80, so I cannot record with this. But uh, with blue shaders, it's a little bit more uh, lagless. As you can see, I get almost 100 more FPS, and it still looks pretty dang nice. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much everything with this tutorial. If you had any problems, make sure to leave your... Uh, issues that you have in the comment section down below and if this video seemed to help you make sure to go pound the like button it really helps me out a lot but yeah guys that's pretty much it um this has been how to install shaders mod for minecraft 1.8 so yeah my name is beckbro jack and i will see you guys all next time bye <laughs>